So good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Titanium Business Summit. Our next speaker is Mr. Kaz Kazravani. This is a man I've known for many years. He's an incredible man, an incredible marketer, and an incredible educator. Kaz has taught over 100 four-credit courses at universities such as Harvard, UCLA, and UC Irvine. He has talked about higher education in America in front of audiences of 14,000 people, including the President of the United States. The only marketing expert hired to share the stage with Donald Trump, Tony Robbins, and other top Bucket. national speakers. Team is very important. So the other side is emotional stuff. Emotional eating is a major factor for me. All my life, I had a weight fluctuations, mainly because I eat for emotional reasons. I don't take drugs. I don't drink alcohol once in a while socially. I don't smoke cigarettes. I use food as drug, and I know it, I'm conscious of it. And the key factor for me is when I have a stress, when I'm at late at night, I'm lonely, I feel lonely, then what, what strategy should I use to basically not to go through that bad habit of opening the refrigerator and having ice cream or tiramisu, I'm into food, uh, sugar basically. So I clean my house. And sometimes, you know what, doesn't matter if I clean my house. If I'm in that mood, I drive to 7-Eleven to get the ice cream. <laughs> but I have learned how to manage my emotions. That's how I lo lose weight and transform my body. I starve the negative thoughts I have because th thoughts are not the same as reality. Reality is what it is. What happened is happened. End of a story. How you think about it bothers you or makes you happy. And if you can manage to starve the negative and feed the warrior within you, and you're all warriors, that will make a big difference in your life. So to, to be successful in life, you have to have some internal code of conduct. And one is to be real. A lot of times in this society, we have to have a mask. We say things because we need to please others. We say things because we want to look good. And because we think the society expects that. The reality is, if you do that, you're not yourself, and therefore you can never be the best you can be because you know that you are not the real. You have this mask on. Be raw. Be raw is like being real, except real is about our actions. Raw is about our feelings. And sometimes we just hold on to the feelings that are not necessarily real, but that is how this quote has helped me to focus on what my, my transformation and, and you know on other aspects of life. Power, focus, and finally, results. Everybody says one of the most important things you should do in life to be successful is to gain knowledge. But somebody says, no, knowledge is, is not important. What is it? Applied knowledge, applying it. But that's not important either, is it? Because you can take many tasks, work hard, apply the knowledge, but don't get results. What really matters is the result that you get, not just because you're busy and you applied the knowledge. It's the result that matters. Finally, every day you should earn your tridents, as the Navy SEAL says, or get, get, get yourself a trophy. Why? Because the past is the past. You cannot live out of the success of the past. It's gone. Tomorrow is not here. You might not even live it. Hopefully you will. So today, what if today is the only day you're going to live your life to the fullest? And that is the key. And to do that, every day you must have a way to feel amazing. What I do, and a lot of people who are very successful I do, and again, I was interviewing these guys, uh, Navy SEALs. Every day, the first thing they do, they do three or four things. One, they have their exercise immediately, even if they hate it. Two, they have meditation, so they clear their mind for the rest of the day, because they want to be ready for the battle. In fact, warriors always say, we don't go to battle to win. We win the battle in our mind first, then go to war. You have to win the battle in your mind first, then you can go to any war. And those who are defeated in wars are the ones who go to the battle first, trying to win. So what we do is, you do meditation. But after exercise meditation, you can do revelation. Some people think revelation is about listening to some old guy from 3,000 years ago, prophets, which is good for you. If you believe in that, that's perfect. 
But sometimes revelation should come from within you. So during meditation, you might actually suddenly hear voices from within you. And those voices, those revelations will set you apart from others and will make you successful that day. So you then write it, get a journal and write whatever your voice from within you told you to do. So basically, that is the trident. Let me conclude here by saying that the most important thing you want to do for any aspect of life is first know what you want to do. So the what is important. And here's where people are, a lot of people make a mistake. They go from what directly to how. They know what they want, now they say, how do I do it? Which is wrong because the next thing is why. You need a fuel. You need to have a strong why on why you want this thing. And if you don't have a strong why, most likely with the first sign of challenge, you will stop or you will back out, basically. So you must have a strong why. One thing is important, however, is just challenge, is how do you get a strong why? I know people who have children and wife, and they do anything to be successful for their children and wife and husbands. I don't have a, a child, or child, I don't have a wife, so I don't have that, so what's my why? If you come up with a strong why, then you will do why. Now, even if you want to have a strong why, the question is, when? You have to have a time constraint. Don't say, I'm going to do this, and, you, and then you say, OK, I'll do it in two years. No, you have to have a time constraint. And finally, and the last thing you do then is how you're going to accomplish those tasks in that order. So basically, I will conclude this by saying that I try my best, and every day you have to fight it, to deal with these three Ps and one thing. The three Ps are passion, living with your passion, living with certain principles, certain code of conduct, certain values and beliefs that will guide you, and finally, your purpose. If you don't have a purpose, I know, I know many people, their purpose is public service. Somebody else is having the most amazing business so they can provide for their employees and so on and so forth. If you have this thing and one thing, you'll be successful. What is one thing? One thing, I cannot define it for you. You only know it. I know for me, my one thing that sets me apart from everybody else is that regardless of all the strengths and weaknesses I have, my one thing has always been I was a great trainer, educator, teacher, instructor. No matter what happens in my life, I can always go teach. I can always be at university. I can always talk in front of a public. That's my one thing. You need to find what is your one thing. And then make that, live with it, make it stronger, and make that part of your three Ps and your life. Final sentence before I end this is internet era lifestyle. If you hate what you do, and again, first, listen to Armand later on. But in general, if you want changes in your life, internet era has created so much opportunities. In my case, those who know me well know this, every day, I work for a few hours with my laptop, starting from Ritz-Carlton in Laguna, South Laguna, then to St. Regis, then to Montage. Finally, I end up in Pelican. In weekends, I end, I end up in Trania Resort in Rancho Palos Verdes. That's my lifestyle. That's how I work. It's me, my laptop. I go to these resorts in the best places, and I work. And I take care of my clients, because it's an internet era. And instead of sitting, sitting in an office, I also meet a lot of prospects in these resorts who I can actually uh, engage in conversation and probably uh, get some business. And I have done that. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. I, I really hope you got one thing out of this presentation that helps you to basically go to the next level in life. And thank you so much for coming here. Have, thank you. Thank you.